Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to schedule reports. So in the last video, if you're able to check it out, I showed you all how to create reports. So what we're doing now is we're going to go into that report that we created in the last video. And we're going to go ahead and schedule it. So from the beginning, we're going to go over to view slash run. It's going to take us over to the screen so we can see all of our reports. Um, we have quite a few though, so we need to search for it. So I believe our report was called incidents for the software team. Yeah, there it is. It's right here. So all you need to do is come over to the report that you want to schedule. So for us, this is the one that we just made. So we'll click on it. We don't need to edit it because it has the parameters that we're looking for. Active is true, and it's going to the assignment group of um, software assignment group. So everything looks good there, but we do want to schedule it because obviously this data is going to change from time to time, and we don't want to have to keep coming back into this report and run it each time. So in that, in that case, it would make sense for us to schedule it maybe once a week, once a month, whatever is appropriate so that we're getting that, that constant, um, that constant refresh of the data. So we know exactly what's going on. So what you need to do from here is you want to come over to this little drop down. Actually, I'm sorry, you would click on sharing. And then once you click on sharing, you're going to go over to schedule. And then you're going to get this pop up window here. And then here is your name. So this is the name of the scheduled report. So by default, it's just gonna add scheduled execution of and then the name of the report. So that's fine. That's kind of for an internal tracking purposes. Report, that is the report that we're scheduling the report for. So inc incidents for the software team, that looks good. Now this is the distro list, these three here, the users, groups, and email addresses. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we can add ourselves here if you would like to, or you can add in multiple individual users. So we'll leave ourselves for now. You could add in groups and you could also add in email addresses. So maybe <clears throat> you want to send it to someone who doesn't have a ServiceNow account. You can just plug in an email address here and it'll go out to that email. Okay, over here is the active. Obviously you want to keep that as uh, true if you want to have these re scheduled reports go out. So this is the cadence. So you want to run it either daily, weekly, monthly, periodically, once on demand. So for us, uh, I think it would make sense to run it once a month. So we would want that to run on the first day of the month. And we could have it run at 8 a.m. In conditional, you could set that if you want to. So if you want to set up a condition for the, the scheduled report to run, so say maybe there's um, more than 10 records for that, um, for that period, and you want it to go out only if there's more than 10, you could script that here or you can also omit if there's no records. So if there's no records at all, then there's no point in sending it out. Subject, this is gonna be the subject of the email that goes out. So we can actually just copy the, the name of our report, incidents for the software team. And you can just put something here like, please see attached, please see attached for the reports of Incidents assigned to the software team. And this is an HTML field, so if you wanted to, you could bolden this, you could change the text font, change the text size, change the text color, you know, whatever you think is gonna look nice. You can make it red and make it really aggressive, but we'll leave it as black. And we'll also unbolden and make it smaller. Now that's really small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, and the type. So these are the different types that you can do. You can do PDF landscape. So landscape is obviously going to be like this. You see it has some kind of tracing. So landscape is like that, whereas portrait would be more horizontal. So landscape is good. Um, or you could just have a general PDF. Um, you could save it as a spreadsheet, so an Excel spreadsheet, or you could save it as a CSV file. And you can also save it as a zip folder or zip output and include with, let's see what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Scheduled email of reports. Oh, okay, so I guess you can group different scheduled reports together using that. I've never used that before, but that is an option. And page size, you can have letter A3, A4, legal, custom. Okay, and once you are done with that, all you gotta do is hit submit and you are done. And you see, we have this little check mark here showing that this report is scheduled to go out. And if you want to find your scheduled reports, you could search for it in the all applications menu. 
and we only have one, which is the one that we just created. So you could always go back in and make changes as needed. All right, everyone, I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in the next video very soon.